Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? It is your boy Lyndon bringing you guys a brand new video here today. What is going on? I hope you guys are all having an amazing Wednesday so far. Um, you see the title of this video. What we're going to get into today is a new sort of thing I've got into. Um, it's been very, very popular, especially in the self improvement space. But it's something one of those kind of out of all the kind of things you'll see to implement when you're trying to obviously improve your life, trying to improve things. It's probably one of the last things that I've kind of picked up on. Like it took me a while to really kind of see why this would be beneficial and to kind of hop on it. But um, I have started um, kind of journaling. I'm doing like this gratitude journaling, and I tell you what, I do really like it. And the reason why I kind of hopped in the video today is because I wrote um, kind of today's journal, um, kind of a few things I'm grateful for, and kind of that ended up leading to like what I wrote about. And I just think this section of my journal is really good, and I like it as well because it doesn't expose too much about me that I wouldn't. Not that I don't, don't want you to know, but like it's just like it's long term goals. It's not stuff that like I need to. It's not stuff that I need to tell to the world right now. And it, like, if the stuff was to happen, other things in my journal, it's like you'll see the results. Like, but this is very stuff. It's very kind of, I mean, it's quite wholesome. It makes you kind of put stuff, stuff puts life into into perspective. And yeah, um, before I get into it, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna read it out. And um, let's say I'll read out kind of what's in the journal first. Maybe I'll read like a sentence, and then I'll kind of break down what I mean by that. And yeah, let me know if you get any kind of value from this video. I hope you do. Um, this is something where, like, yeah, it's very personal to me, but like I say, I think you guys kind of see kind of what the benefit is kind of, if just kind of reflecting on your life, I think it's very good. And at the moment, I really enjoy being introspective. I think kind of learning your emotions, kind of what triggers you, what kind of gets you going, what makes you feel good. Um, and kind of, yeah, what kind of triggers different um, emotional responses? I think it's a really powerful thing. So I think when you're trying to climb towards top as a man, you need to know these things too. Um, sustain yourself and make sure that you don't end up in dangerous situations um so yeah let's get into it so wednesday the 27th of july 2022 um it's the day i'm recording and it's the day i've written this uh, so the first thing i usually do in my journal is before i kind of get into any kind of serious topic or discussion or just generally talking about my life or like yesterday or whatever um i'll usually do five things that i'm grateful for um so the first thing I'm, I'm grateful for um is my speakers so i have um you might have seen if you watch like any like the music kind of clips or you've seen kind of um instagram lives or anything is i have um kind of two you um have that usb speakers and they're very good they're very loud they're kind of like studio monitors and like the thing i love about them is they allow me to um take your music in like an amazing um concert like surround sound in my room um, I didn't realize exactly how I wrote that, but that's what I wrote basically. And let me kind of explain that. So um, this morning, I kind of, um, I started meditating, um, had some food, went in the shower. Uh, and then before I was kind of getting ready to kind of um, journal and stuff, I was kind of having a period of, you know, you get out of to like draft and that. I just like slapped some music on. I literally took it in, um, I took in a Dave um, Tiny Desk, which was very, very good. I hadn't seen that before. Um, I took in a Roddy Rich show. Um, we did like a Trap Symphony thing with um, Audio Mac. Can't lie, that's one of my favourite um, live things. That that slapped. Actually, really speakers, man. You can hear everything. And, and you, when you can hear an orchestra, man, it's just different. Um, I took in Kendrick Lamar, a couple of performances. Um, I think he did These Walls. I took in um, J. Cole's um, B3 on the um, Letterman show. And that's like an iconic rap. That's like an iconic rap performance. Like that's like if you play that rap performance to most hip hop fans they know what you're on about um so just to be able to take it in taking the instrumentation taking that live sound that you don't always get through like headphones or you get through like listening it through your phone uh, i'm very grateful um so the next point i wrote down um i'm grateful for having uh, my youtube equipment that allows me to record videos and gives me the opportunity to try and change my life and inadvertently change the life of my subscribers and yeah that's basically what you're looking at now the fact that i have my macbook and uh, like i say i have multiple mics and even though one of my mics isn't working right now i'm still the fact that i have these mics um it says a massive opportunity to me i have got a nice webcam that records in 1080p which i love um and i've got like the whole music setup this is my music mic i've got like um i've got like, the little um what do you even call it like i've got like the monitors i've got um I, i'm not going to use the right terminology for it but i've got all this equipment man and i'm eternally grateful obviously stuff that i kind of worked for and i pay at church i purchased um but yeah the fact that obviously from this you can literally i could create content from this laptop and um 
from this music setup and content that goes through this webcam and edit it on my MacBook um, when I do edit and it I could literally make something that changed my life. It could change other people's lives. I could literally change people's perspectives and I can connect to people via the internet, via these tools I have at my disposal. Um, it's quite powerful and it's quite amazing. And also when I think like this, I think um, it, some people, uh, there's definitely people out there who would definitely look at like, they think I want to do a YouTube channel, but like I don't have a cell, especially when I was younger. I knew I wanted like a, I'd love to have like a stream set, I'd love to have like a YouTube setup, and I didn't have it. And obviously now I'm older, I got to the point where I had it. But obviously I know there's people who would die for a setup like this. So it's like you need to be kind of, you, you need to be well, no, like consciously know that. You need to know that obviously this is a big opportunity. Like a lot of people would love to have a setup that you have. So just use the best, do the best you can with it. Um, and yeah, man. So just, yeah, I'm just grateful for the chance every day. Um, to kind of come out here, have my equipment, have it where we have to put videos on YouTube every day. Um, and yeah, and just kind of work towards my dream. And my dream is to kind of change the life of you guys and bring that kind of value. Um, every time I hop on a mic, you know what it is, we have to shut it down. And whether that is kind of philosophically, or whether that's through some bars, like <laughs> that's what I want to do. That's how I want to enjoy my life. And I think when I do that and I'm in a situation where I can provide value to you and I don't know, we can talk about coaching and like other sorts of business, whether we're creating TikTok, whether companies want to, brands want to get involved. It's like the fact that I could literally, rather than having to think about going to work, this could be my work. That is just incredible. And I'm grateful to the equipment that I have. Um, next person, next thing I wrote is I'll quick, um, I was grateful, and so I said, I'm grateful to my online uh, coach, um, Jack, um, who truly believes in my ability to change my life and gives me hope and advice in terms of my um, transformation. So that's that was the next kind of um, thing, next kind of shout out. So as you guys know, I've been um, we're working kind of on my um, kind of weight loss journey for a while now. I believe it's probably like four or five months in now. It's, it's gone like quite quickly, but... Um, been losing a lot of weight and um a lot of that is down to my coach um jack's kind of put a lot of things into my mind um kind of challenged my mindset told me to keep going especially there was time where i didn't want to keep going i, mean, I was about uh, maybe six weeks in and i was like well i don't know if i can keep going on this journey and he was like you can really get to like a special place you just need to keep going um dig in like nothing's easy and uh, I'm very appreciative of that now, and I'm in a really good space, a really good headspace. Um, mental health has never been better, physically never felt better, and yeah, like I say, now I'm now I'm playing football preseason now. Now I want to box. Now I want to just take on the world. Really, now I'm actually facing up my issues. I'm actually hopping on YouTube. I'm actually uploading regularly and giving out content that I really want to make and I want to thank him for that because without the kind of the body transformation kind of the way uh, my eating has improved and other things I wouldn't get I wouldn't be where I am right now so um, I just want to sh um, shout him I suppose that was kind of my journal but like I say I went to read this journal page out and that's what I wrote so and I truly believe it so um, sh shout out Jack <laughs> uh, next thing I'm <coughs> my god's sake um, the next thing I am for guys, uh, sorry. Um, next thing I'm thankful for is green tea. Um, so I've kind of, so what I write, it's a great inexpensive drink, which is healthy, gives you a boost and helps clean out your body. Um, which yeah, facts. Um, I can't lie. I drink green tea most mornings now. If I'm really, really tired, sometimes I'll grab a coffee. I do have some coffee, sachets, like some tea sachets, um, but yeah, green tea's been my one of choice right now. I can't lie, just because out of the three, I think it is the most healthy, and it's got loads of different like kind of benefits, and nutrients. I've like a green tea with lemon right now. Then um, when I was um, kind of starting out, you just kind of put like sugar or put like honey in it. Uh, but I'm kind of weaning, I'm like weaning down that now. A lot of the time, I just drink it straight, and um, I say I let it cool down, and I just drink it, and it's it's pink. And like I say, I've got loads of it. It's cheap to buy, and it's effective. So. I'm thankful for green tea, man, and let it keep doing it. I think it's got great detox kind of effects. So, yeah, I'm a big advocate of green tea, and I'm grateful for it. Um, and the last one, probably the most important one, um, so if you have, what, if you're watching this far into the video, and um, it's going to be like the main bulk of the video, um, and yeah, it's probably the, it's the one that impacted me most and the one I end up journaling about a lot. Um, so I'm grateful for a chance to be in the struggle, 
Every day I'm broke. I don't have the career I want. I don't have the social life I want. I don't have the lifestyle I want. I don't have the looks I want. And I don't have the relationships I want. And etc. Uh, I have to... Um, I have to be introspective. I have to deep dive into my own life and figure out what I'm doing wrong. What I can improve as a human being. We take accountability for our failures and we constantly strive to improve. Um, and I, I, carry on, I, carry, I carry on that point saying, um, I think this is good because people who are naturally athletic, good looking and came up with money um, and all those kind of things, um, they don't have to evaluate themselves on this sort of level. They aren't searching for the wisdom that I'm searching for. They aren't doing the work on learning the best things for your mental health. They haven't looked in internally at what triggers certain vices which could be detrimental um, over time. Um, through my struggle, I will be a very well-rounded person, grounded in the humility that I was an unsuccessful person for years in my adult life before I made the right moves. I'm going to break this down in a sec, but let me finish off the journal now. Um, I will reach success eventually, and when I do, I know it will be deserved as I will have been through the mental fire, the physical fire, and the emotional fire. I will be war hardened, tried and tested. At my best, in the words of Jordan Peterson, I will become a monster. But my past experiences will ensure that I keep my emotional intelligence and combined with all the books I, will, I would have read and applied to my life, I will be more than equipped to use my power to serve the world. And that was the journal. Like that... Um, and yeah, just to kind of expand on the last bit, I'm not going to keep you here too long. Um, but yeah, man, like, I really, it's like, once I realised that, like, I'm in the struggle, but like, you know when you believe it happens for a reason, people say that, and it's like a very kind of cliche, very kind of um, overused um, statement. But um, I was, what I will say is, there's been times, especially even like right now, like when I'm going through a struggle, bro, like, and there's times where there's not a lot of food in the fridge. There's times where um, I really am hanging on sometimes. And, like, life life is show, it's giving me struggles, bro. Like, sometimes it's like, an, sometimes it's overdue bills. Sometimes, like I say, you can't afford to go shopping. Sometimes it's times where you don't look your best. You haven't, you haven't got money to go for a haircut. You have to sacrifice. You have to not be able... You, sometimes I can't go to certain events. I've not got the money to when I really wanted to. And it's like... But these are times, as a man, they make you. I think having these times now in your teens, in your early 20s, um, it's just going to make you an um, all-round better person for when you kind of when you do start to have it because you're just going to always remain humble. You can remember these times where you were broke and you, like, you, prom you try and make a promise to yourself that you won't ever lose yourself and remember where you came from. And, to, and hopefully, if I'm in a position where I do have it and I see kind of like a young... But I see someone like... I'll, I fight, as I say in my mind, I've kind of um, not kind of fully visualized this yet, but like say me at like twenty nine, and I like I've really started to become, I've really started to kind of come into my, like my like like superior self, and like let's say um, I've got say I've got like the lifestyle I want, I've got the career I want, um, like I say. I've got the social circle I want. The people around me are amazing. Uh, I've got the relationship I want. Like it's like it all clicks together. Um, then if I can look at a 21, 22 year old that isn't there, um, but I can kind of see that fire in them. I see they want to improve. I want to be that person who can really like, you really like empathize and relate to that uh, because that's the situation I'm in right now. Uh, put someone who hasn't got all that but that wants to get there and kind of what I'll be able to tell them and find a kind of deep dive on a level and relate to it um I won't go too far into my struggle maybe you want to hear kind of the struggle I know some people love the struggle it's like oh I feel sorry for me I'm not I don't talk about my struggle to kind of feel sorry for me I talk about my struggle um but now we just announced someone it's got an email fair play announced a striker as well I mean that's decent um but let me um see distractions right there <laughs> but yeah no basically um yeah do i don't talk about my struggle i think people do think that some people think some people i know and it's not something i let affect me but i know it's something like whenever i post like youtube videos or uh, i'll put some on instagram or whatever people will think i'm putting stuff out into the world to get attention but it's not that it's to 
Well, yeah, sometimes I do, obviously when I'm going to post my, my Instagram is to try and drive people to the YouTube videos and then see if people like what I produce. Like, that is attention. But, um, but the main reason I like kind of put these videos out and I put these things into the world is because I want to be able to look back, not only for myself when I'm successful, to be able to look back at me like, this is where I came from and to have like the whole journey documented, even the good and the bad things. Um, it's so that other people, when I come successful, I think sometimes you see people come successful and like you barely see a backstory. There's, there's nothing about them. You can't, like you can see the come up, but like you don't see like kind of the way they were feeling. You don't see, kind of, you don't like, I say like an artist, sometimes you see the musician, you see what they say in the music, but you can't imagine that life. Whereas, when you see someone like me, and I told you, I told you about times where I don't know where I don't, I'm like, how am I going to pay like certain bills? How am I going to? Um, I'm there like, I'm I'm telling these stories. I'm like yesterday, um, I literally like there's literally nothing left in the kitchen, bro, and like. I was like, what am I going to eat for dinner? And at some point I was just like, yeah, I might just have to like starve this out. Um, and then I was like, I've got some spaghetti. And I was like, but I ain't got a pan. Um, and literally like putting like spaghetti in the microwave and cooking it. I'm like, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's not something I want to do all the time. Like cooking spaghetti in the microwave and like putting some like, um, or like quite call that like, bologna sauce, like bologna sauce. Like literally like that's not stuff that it's like, you're not like, and mate, it's like, oh yes, let's do this every day, and just, yeah. But it's like you all remember those experiences. Um, like I'll remember kind of defrosting some frozen vegetables and putting it in the microwaves to like get some, like, get my fruit and veg in. Like I'll remember these times where, I w where I was tested, where like you don't know where your next breaks gonna come from. Like I think it really does make. I think like we do need to go really through these times, um, and it makes you a stronger man for it. So yeah, I, so I used to be all hear some of these struggles and be like, oh yeah. And that's the thing I remember as well, like sometimes like as much as I think I'm struggling, like you still got to think, uh, I'm still in a very nice place. Um, I still live in a very nice place right now. Um, I've got family where I can go to them when I need to go to them. Um, and they will do their best to support me. And I'm fully appreciative of that. And some people don't have that. Um, I understand that some people do grow up in worse environments than me. Like I understand that, like I, I didn't grow up really like people weren't really like dying, like kind of like people weren't really like gonna get murdered around me. Like, like I went to like a decent, I went to, like a decent school. Like there wasn't like it wasn't like mad violence in like the streets. Um, and like yo, like I didn't grow up in an environment which they say like my family were like mad drug like abuse like like I didn't like it could have been worse basically is what I'm saying some people grow up in a lot worse environments especially people who've grown up obviously in like places like London Birmingham um people grow up in like these American cities like Chicago New York um LA but obviously not like in like the really glamorous places but obviously like kind of what people say like the hood the ghetto like and pe really successful people that come out of these like places where they really have a drive um so yeah although my life might it doesn't seem the best right now. Like I understand that it could be a lot worse, so you have to be grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for the struggle because yeah, because when I make when I make it, and I'm saying when I'm a superstar, I hold my mic, I do my thing, um, I sound good. I like I say, I, I like to think I speak kind of um, with a bit of eloquence, like, and that's going to pay me well um, in the future. I'm saying that now as a break 23 year old um, student who's um, doing work and just recording in his room uh, <laughs> with, who's not got that much of social life right now but um, I do generally believe in the future but like I say it's just a day in my journal and sometimes you see how like I just went I literally just read a journal the journal was literally like five bullet points about being grateful and then the last bullet point literally took me on a journey where I literally I've wrote that down and I've hopped on a YouTube video and I've talked for literally 20 minutes and that came from five points about what I'm grateful for so you see how a journal it literally just expand your mind and expand your mindset and even as I'm talking to you right now I'm thinking about new things um so yeah this journaling thing it can be really really powerful um, and you just need to give it time. Um, it's not easy. Uh, one of the things I will say about journaling is that um, that was like three pages, and that, I got to the end of my um, thoughts when I wrote that. 
but originally I was going to write about kind of successful traits and what successful traits I need to incorporate into myself to be successful. But by the time I wrote those three pages, I was happy with it. I didn't want to write anymore. And that's one of the things I will say. Like sometimes if you don't want to, you don't completely finish your thought. Like there's a lot of things where I go into it. I want to write like five pages worth. I want to write like loads, but I'll get like two and a half pages and I get bored. I get distracted and I will literally leave it because it's like, don't force, don't strain yourself to finish a journal. Like if you could only write one page and you get bored, carry on the next day. Like it's not something that needs to be completed, bro. It's not school. It's not an essay. You're not being marked on what you write in your journal it is literally um what you write in your journal is literally it's just what's on your mind at the time and it's never complete you never finish it until bro until you're six feet under bro like you're gonna keep writing in this journal uh and you might not touch it every day um like i say but just I don't know, when you can, if it's once a week, if it's two, three times a week. Um, one thing I said I was going to try and use it, try and use it for that kind of vices. So let's say I want to do something like quite bad. Let's say I want to watch like uh, videos. I say, say I want to watch videos that like, aren't good for me. Um, the man them, you know what I'm on about. Um, if you don't know what I'm on about, you're a bit too innocent. But yeah, let's say that. Let's say I want to avoid watching um, kind of that sort of content. Um, like I say, um, and what stuff that leads on from that. So one thing I said to myself is that if I feel that way and I feel like I want to kind of release that energy and watch kind of those things that can obviously have seen the effects of what that kind of content can do to you, um, kind of the way you can alter your brain and kind of like lower your drive and lower your inhibition, lower your reader and stuff. So um, what I've said is that when I do feel like that, I'm going to hop in my journal and I'm going to have to write at least kind of 10 pages to... Um, even allow myself to think about uh, engaging in it and I think by the time like I say I don't think I've ever wrote 10 pages for a journal entry in my life um, well ever since I tried to do journaling so I know I'll get bored I'll think about something else the time will pass and um, by the time I think about doing it and I'm hoping that is kind of the thing that kind of um, kind of puts me away from doing that sort of long term and yeah, I think obviously if that, if you can, if that does, if that is the thing that pulls me away from it and I think it helps me and it helps you and I'll obviously update you on that um, if that is the case. And that's kind of something I haven't talked about on this channel, but um, we will do, we will definitely get into it because it's a big, it affects a lot of people, especially men. Um, so yeah, if that works for me, then I think journaling is a massive dub. If for that one reason, if that one thing, that one reason is the reason why I don't do that and I can just be motivated and I can drive out and it keeps that testosterone a bit higher and I'm just a bit more fueled, a bit more energetic towards life, then journaling will be a massive dub. So, and I just like I say, I, I'm one of those people, man. Like, some people get really worried about exposing themselves. I feel like they're exposing themselves to the world kind of showing like their emotions and what they feel but I think some of the best people in the world are the people who are like the most like like expressive like people who do have the opinions and people who aren't who aren't scared to put them out there and people aren't scared to part their theory it's like some of the most like we like some of like, the biggest celebrities out there at the moment it's people who you see as authentic people who you see is genuine and yeah, that's what I'll try. That's all I really try and be for my audience. I really want to be kind of an authentic personality that you can believe in um, and you can gain something from and you can gain um, value from. Like, you see me now, obviously, you say, oh, now I have a choice. Or you say, I don't have a choice. I have to dress in, like, inexpensive clothes. I'm not trying to, like, look like a cool... Like, even though I rap, I don't try and look like a rapper. I don't try and act like a rapper. Um, I just try and be me. Um, and what I hope is when I do start to make money even though I may start to wear clothes that maybe do cost a bit more, like it's not trying to, it's not everything about, it's not really about trying to look ultra flashy and I don't want to try and look like ridiculously flashy and I don't want to try and look, I don't want to try and kind of force it, like kind of like the personality to be like, oh, I've got money, oh, I'm built up. Like I want it to kind of come from more genuine things, wear kind of genuine clothes and kind of support small kind of businesses, small kind of, I don't know, people on Instagram. I like to see people kind of grow and I like to kind of think that once I have my money, um, I'll be in a place where um, I will be supporting, I'll be giving back, um, I'll be giving shout outs, um, I'll be able to do sort of charity work, but not quite charity work, we're just kind of giving money to other corporations, I mean like literally be like there, literally kind of hand that money, hand that opportunities, um, back in people's like um, business ideas and literally talking me all through it and working with my family and like, you know, I was working in my community, making my community stand out more and like, 
yo and just putting people on so that's kind of my thoughts and my kind of ambitions and like i said all all i just talked about there i've literally expanded five points about what i was grateful for today and i spoke for 25 minutes honestly journaling can change your life bro uh, and apart from other things and the next thing i'm probably going to make soon is the um kind of what i've learned from six months of meditation so i can't lie i think meditation is probably easier as girls get onto before journaling but if you can get onto both of them at the same time, then I'm telling you, bro, your mental health will be winning. You'll be winning. I'm literally two, three weeks of nailing that down. No, I mean, you know, I say nailing it down, even doing like three times a week, bro, you'll feel so much better. You'll feel so much better. When I say, bro, I mean like anyone, boys, girls, whatever you identify out. Um, the worst shout out to all the communities out there. Like, shout out to all, like, everyone. So, yeah, big up you all. Thank you for tuning in if you've watched this far. I appreciate you. Let me know what you thought of this. Um, like I say, I'm just really enjoying being open right now. And it's like, people will think, why is he doing this? Oh, why is he being this open? It's like, because I feel like, it makes me almost feel like impenetrable. It's like, what can you take the mick out of? What can you say about me? What can, it's like, yeah, say I'm fat, bro. I'm, I'm going to the gym, actually trying to work out. Yeah, say I haven't got money. Yeah, but I own it. It's part of the struggle. Say, um, say you haven't got girls, like whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, but I'm working on it. Emotional, uh, emotional intelligence. I'm hey, trying to work on your look, trying to work on any more money and whatever. Like any, any sort of insult that people will um, confront me at the moment, I'll just be like, well, yeah, I'm working on it. It's part of the journey. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you like told my stuff on Instagram. It's like, well, yeah, I want to build up this channel. And also I think I do say stuff that has value. I do think I provide stuff where if you were someone who you weren't on these things, you, didn't, you weren't thinking about journaling. Uh, maybe you thought about business, but you weren't taking it that seriously. Maybe you listen to someone like me. Maybe it might, from listening to these words, it might put you in a situation where you want to uh, kind of pursue something more deeper. And you're thinking about kind of your self-development. And that's what I want to do for people. And that's kind of, yeah, because I think when you create value, value comes back and maybe value is monetary, maybe value in terms of status. I think all these things can go up. But yeah, that's my mentality now. And like I say, that's with overdrafts. That's like with negative bank accounts. That's with overdue bills. Like I'm telling you now, like when people say like money will be kind of the thing, like money only kind of, it kind of shines a light on you as a person. So I like to think that when I get money, kind of the mentality I have now you'll just see it like tenfold. People are like, oh, this is like the most amazing guy ever. No, like, I, I always was the most amazing. I would, <laughs> not to that nah, sounds kind of blasphemous, but I always was like this person where I genuinely believed I had a good character. But when I make money, you're going to see it tenfold. People are like, oh, this guy is amazing. It's like, no, I always was that guy. <laughs> I saw a, a, a kind of motivation quote. It's like, I always was that guy. And generally, I always was that guy. But like just the lessons and being in the struggle and these tri trial and tribulating times and having to work through kind of bad times and keep going that's what's going to make me like i say like i said my um things to be grateful i will become that monster one day but i will be emotionally intelligent enough to be able to use my kind of power and that drive in the right way and not kind of get drawn into kind of let's just make the most money possible because i don't think that's a great life um but yeah i'm gonna let you go <laughs> thank you for tuning in i didn't expect to go for this long but i just really enjoyed making this video it's a conversation that i really like having if you want to have this kind of conversation more conversation like this feel free to hit me up um obviously i'm trying not to spend on instagram too much recently but um i do go on instagram sometimes so yeah hit me up on instagram um follow me there um twitter i barely go on to be fair um, YouTube comments probably the best thing to be fair I probably will see my YouTube comments quicker than I see my Instagram um, but yeah make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one peace